Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another video. In this one, this is actually going to be a business video. This is going to be related to the stock market, which I haven't really spoke about on this channel yet, but we are going to be doing some investing soon here. We're going to be putting $10,000 into the stock market, and we're going to be seeing if we can, like, double it, triple it, and see how far we can take that portfolio. So I'm going to be showing you all um, some of my investments soon here on the channel, but I wanted to go over a big thing that's going on right now. So this is one of my favorite um, YouTubers when it comes down to um, when it comes down to the stock market, this is how I've been learning some of the stuff that I'm investing in. Now, luckily, I'm not following his portfolio exactly, but I did just get hit with, like, I'm going to take a serious hit from something that he's recommended being invested in. And that, that's why he's getting a lot of hate and backlash right now. And a lot of people are saying that he's a fraud, he's been exposed and stuff like that. Because a lot of people um, have jumped into this on his, like, on his word. And you can see how it would be an honest mistake if someone's not doing too much research because for somebody who gets on YouTube and just really like tells people like word for word, do this, invest in this, follow this option, like have some spare powder like sitting around so you can, when I tell you to invest in something, you pounce. It's like you, you say you're not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice, but you're literally telling people do this with your finances. Like, that sounds like financial advice to me. But um, anyway, 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 like, because I'm kind of tight a little bit because I am in a tough spot because um, he's told everybody to invest in this company or in this stock called um, FTFT. And it's a very, very big thing. Now, check this out. Look, if you read through the comments of this video, people are people are very upset about this. He said, I've come to the conclusion that fake Chris saying was right all along. Um, sell your stocks and buy crypto. I'm actually invested in crypto as well. I'll be showing you all my crypto um, portfolio. Well, outside of Ecomi, I actually have a whole different crypto um, portfolio as well. So I'm going to be showing you all that too. Um, but um, he said, dang, I was holding um, FTFT because of your input. Ain't mad. I'm learning along the way. Still love your content. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this this guy, he, he's, he invested because of Chris. A lot of people are. And they said Chris is doing a lot of back and forth with the stocks. That is true. Just the other day he was saying, oh, this play is going to double. Like, we're going to get out of this play at $10. Whole time, it don't look like this play is going back towards $10. I'm telling you all right now, I'm going to I'm gonna get out immediately for a loss, especially after finding what I found on this company. But, I, like, so let's just jump into what I found on this company. So, look at this. So this is doing a little bit of due diligence, and I'll admit that I did not do my due diligence at first. I didn't do it at first, so this is like, that's why I don't blame him too much. I should have looked into this company, but I would assume as a guy who's out here on YouTube trying to teach people or tell people what to do with their money, you would be able to see a simple Reddit search of people explaining how this company is a scam. And basically, this company wasn't a financial company up until recently. This, this company started as some type of company that was working with plants or something like that. And, and they're, they're a Chinese company that seems to just be some type of scheme. To, to, um, it's, yeah, it seems to be some type of scheme. And people are wondering how they even got listed and how, they're, um, how people can even invest in this right now. And like why this company isn't shut down and stuff like that. And it's like they... I don't know. It says a lot of it's a lot of claims and stuff. So make sure you all search that up so you can read through this whole thing yourselves. Um, so what they claim to do, I'm gonna read a little bit for you all. Um, first off, this is their website. It says enter at your own risk. It's not HTTPS secured and has a warning rating from the Web of Trust. Um, according to their website, they are a leading blockchain R&D company. Incorporated in Florida, founded in 1998, they own and operate black blockchain-based online mall and digital payment systems. Now, this is why it's an honest mistake, because you look at a smaller company, you see, oh, it was up to $10, then it went down, and then you read the description of it. It has to do with the blockchain. So, if it has to do with the blockchain, it's probably a company that's going to go up and rise when Bitcoin does. Now, if you all know, if you've been following crypto today, Bitcoin has broken an all-time high. And this company is going lower than it's been. Like, basically, this is not tied to Bitcoin whatsoever. So, and then Chris actually said that in one of his videos. He said in this video that this stock is tied to 
Bitcoin. He was saying this is tied to Bitcoin. And honestly, he said in today's video, like, if you're not putting stop losses and stuff on your plays, it's your fault if you lose money. And yes, that's 100% true. But when you sit here and mislead a bunch of people at the same time and say, yo, this play is going to double, we're going to be in this play, then say, hey, I got stop loss on my stuff. So, so if y'all get screwed, that's on y'all. Like, really? Like, you got to take some accountability. You got to take some accountability. I definitely get it. Everybody should be practicing like practicing this stuff like nah put, put on, putting on stop losses and stuff like that but somebody in the comment section made a good point because of this correction that's been going on if you would have put a stop loss on all your plays at this point you would have been kicked out of everything in the market since stuff is going down upwards of like 70 percent it's like so people are trying people are trying to continue to love chris because yeah i mean i've learned a lot i've definitely learned a lot from his channel i've been i've been i've been learning a lot but at the same time, he does, he has been a little bit contradicting himself. Uh, he, he's definitely contradicting himself. Um, and then it looks like this is a, like, if, if FTFT, I'm going to tell you all right now, I hope I'm wrong, but based on the stuff that I found when I tried to do a little bit of digging and due diligence, um, I was too late. I feel like I'm going to lose money on this. So I'm getting out of this. I'm getting out of this immediately. I'm getting out immediately. And what it looks like the company is doing is it looks like they're going to leave the shareholders just holding a bag. Like they're going to hold, leave, leave us with nothing. Like it looks like the company is taking their money out. And yeah, it, it looks real. It looks real suspicious. I definitely want everybody to look this up. You need to look this up and read it all for yourself. This is a lot. It links to a lot of different sources. Like, this is very well done. This is very well put together. And this is just one of the articles. This same guy has created a second article. Here's his second article right here. So his second article, more and more people have found more stuff about this company. And they're listing, citing sources and all types of things like that. So this is looking very, very bad for um, the people following Chris Sane. And um, this was definitely a, a bad thing to miss. Like when you have articles, this when you have this much information about this company who's been changing his name, doing all types of almost allegedly illegal stuff. It's like, eh, it, this this looks pretty bad for Chris. I, I don't know, but if it still goes up to ten, like I said, I hope I'm wrong. I, I am going to keep digging into this and keep reading on it. But I'm def I'm personally getting out. I'm I'm getting out of this. Um, I'm even though I'm getting out at a loss. I mean, I'd rather not lose my total investment. So, it is what it is. I know a lot of people are upset right now. Um, but it seems like, I, I don't know, Chris seems to have a lot going on. He, he tries to run multiple different businesses. He's working on different stuff with the stock. He has his group. He's doing option plays and all types of stuff right now. So, um, I mean, this is definitely... I don't think he should be so confident giving off random plays if he's not really doing his due diligence. Like, that's the one criticism that I have for him. Now, us as traders, we should be putting on stop losses. We should be being... Well, and honestly, it's hard to do that with the market being so um, volatile right now. It's very hard to do that. Because, like someone brought up in the comment section, if we, if we popped on a stop loss... Like, we would have been knocked out of most of our plays with this correction that's going on. So, we would have been here with an empty portfolio. So, that's why this is a tough situation. I definitely understand all the hate towards Chris right now. Um, because he his confidence in the things that he's presenting and the way that he presents it is making people believe in it. But at the same time, this is this is tough. But, um, yeah, I mean, me, like I said, me personally, I'm getting out. I just want to warn everybody of what's going on. And this is this is all a bunch of stuff that you need to check out. I'm going to keep this link down below. I'm going to link all my um, all these articles and stuff. So if you're invested in this, you can see exactly why I'm getting out as soon as possible. Um, hopefully, if you're going to stay invested, if you're going to trust Chris, maybe Chris sees something that we all don't see, then... Um, yeah, good luck to you. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope you make some money off of it. But it don't look that way to me, especially from this stuff that I found here. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm out of this one, personally. But um, I am going to be um, showing my portfolio. I am going to be doing more stock content and things like that. So, um, make sure you all stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel and all that stuff. Also, leave me your thoughts in the comment section about your experience. Um, I know... He, Chris has made a lot, had a lot of hits when it comes to these stocks, man. He 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 hits a lot of the times. This if this is a miss, this is a really really bad miss. Like, cause I don't, 
I don't know how you read this article right here and recommend this company to anyone. Like, I don't see how you read these articles. And yeah, like you never promote this company after see reading these two articles. So I don't know how he got to these conclusions that he's drawn about this company. Maybe I like this feels like it was just a job where he he looked at the charts. He he read the charts. He's like, oh, it dropped down from ten dollars. It's going to go back to ten dollars. It seems like that's that's the most due diligence he did. Maybe looked at the stock portfolio instead of the actual news on this company. Because honestly, when you type in this company, this news doesn't come up either. You have to literally type in scam. You have to type type in FTFT scam to even find this article. So this was this was not the easiest thing to find. But um, yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Um, I could definitely see how this could be missed, especially if you have a lot going on. But when you're telling people with such confidence and conviction, I need you to have some money set aside so you can go in this play with me. Go in this play is going to double. When you're telling people stuff like that, you sh you like you should be reading news on the companies at the bare minimum. Like you should really know what this company is about because random people on the internet should not be finding this stuff, and you're not finding it, and you're telling people put your money in this. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'm going to catch you all on the next one. Peace out.